I decided to order um, one of these Novatech radios. Um, couldn't find much information on the internet about this radio. This is the uh, W7 GPS model. Um, looks to be like one of their, their newer models out there. Um, so I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing and uh, show you basically what I got in the box. Um, and then uh, I'll hook it up and um, kind of show you show you what it's like inside um, and the settings and all that kind of stuff. I guess I'll hook it up to a to an adapter in the house here. So anyway, so uh, definitely packed uh, well enough outside here. Okay, we got our. Uh, wireless USB adapter and here is here is our radio Innovatech IN W7 GPS um, take a quick look in here um, the kit I bought has the uh, radio they give you a free uh, wireless USB adapter and also the kit I have has a 16 gig card that comes with it um, I guess this is just a driver's disk and the wireless card standard wireless card for the most part um, pretty much so that's that um, and um, all right. Um, so this is the radio. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to go with one of those no-name kind of Chinese deals that they have out there. Um, I've already tried a couple of them. Um, wasn't too happy, so decided to go with this. And so far, um, they definitely have a nicer s display package, and the book is actually pretty decent, actually. They actually have color pictures in here, and for the most part, um, the settings and everything look pretty good. Um, actually, a very good looking instruction manual so far. Uh, pleasantly surprised by that, because actually the, the price of this radio turns out to be pretty close to those no-name ones, um, and at least I know this company's been around for a while, they might not be the best, but um, still pretty decent. Um, let's see. This looks to be our package of wiring. So we got a USB mini to standard socket. Put that back over here. And we got a bunch of cables here. Let's take this take this wire tie off of there. <clears throat> and actually that's pretty cool because these are, uh, this is the cable that goes into the back of the unit. Um, has your line outs, um, video, sub out, and let's see what we got, brake input, probably something you could easily bypass by grounding but I didn't tell you to do that um, and basically they actually have this wire already attached to a USB socket and also to an iPod connector so that's something that could probably be routed behind the dash and then dropped below the dash it's a decent amount of cord I'd say probably about four feet of cord for these two connectors um, not too bad, but that's pretty cool because that means I can hide that uh, wireless dongle out of the way and then have it sticking out of my dash all the time because I thought originally that's what I was going to have to do. Um, just some radio pull out keys or whatever you call them. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Our GPS antenna. Um, 
decent amount of cord, probably 15 feet of cord. Pretty standard. Um, our other radio connector, um, power, speakers, um, and whatever else. Get that figured out. Alright. And we'll pull this off of here. Just move this up a little here. Alright, so we got that. And here is our radio. Now, you'll notice right away the big difference between this radio and most of the other ones at this price are that this one does not have a um, does not have a DVD player on it. Um, I knew this when I bought it. Um, other people might not realize it when they grab this radio. So I'll let you know that right away. The uh, W7 and I think the W72 also. Um, that's the two DIN model. I have the single DIN. This is the W7 and I think the W72 is the two DIN model. And I believe both of them do not have DVD players built in. But since most of my music and movies are on my computer, um, that's why I opted for the 16 gig card with it so that I could simply load my movies right onto a uh, card. So anyway, so this is it. Um, fit and finish look ten times better than uh, the Chinese knockoff, the no-name stuff. Um, the controls feel pretty good and the finish on them is actually really good. So looking at the front of the radio, I'm already impressed. I mean, I don't see any protective thing on the front of this, but actually that's pretty clean. That's nice. Um, you can see, obviously, it sticks out in the front quite a bit, but which works out for my dash because uh, I have vents that stick out a little in front. So this will clear everything pretty nicely, but just so you can see the overall um, dimensions of what we got here. Um, this is the setup, but uh, here's the micro SD. Should have gotten a 16 gig with this, and, uh, and there we go. And it's actually uh, can't really see it, but it's actually a hopefully correct uh, a transcend and not some no name uh, 16 gig. It's only a class four, but that's still pretty good uh, for just music and movies and stuff. It'll work fine for that. Uh, Let's see, it actually goes in the slot upside down here. But anyway. So there's the micro SD. Got uh, an AV in jack. Here's your microphone jack. Um, power, this presses in and also volume. Mute. You got a mode, GPS button, up and down buttons. Um, open, I guess open and close, OPCL. And then there's your USB host connector in front and uh, reset and I guess seek and it also clicks in for whatever purposes so anyway so um, that's the setup we got so far I'll show you the back there as well um, for the most part of course since we don't have a DVD player running and things like that uh, the heat sinks are pretty nice um, not thin looking um, but uh, there's no fan or anything because of course we don't have a DVD player so it should run pretty cool. Alrighty, uh, that's it for now. And um, I'm going to get this hooked up and uh, turned on, and then I'll get back to you. Alrighty.